In addition to uh, medication and exercise, um, I know you are, are up on the literature of assistive technologies, um, wearable technology, things like that, that monitor us, can give data, provide uh, data back to you or other companies that can help with our, our, our um, care. Can you talk a little bit about that, please? Yes, yeah, so you know, a lot of the focus now on devices um, are helping both the patients and the doctor understand how symptoms change throughout the day. That's a lot of the current focus. Uh, for instance, wearable devices, I wear an Apple Watch. Um, there's other devices, there's app, apps on the phone that serve not only to monitor how is my, and Dr. Shields, you and I worked together recently on a, an app called the, the, the Parky, Parky app, P-A-R-K-Y, FDA approved, to help monitor when your medicine kicks in and tracking your symptoms throughout the day, creating a beautiful chart of tremor versus dyskinesia on or off time, helping us understand quantitatively and qualitatively, more qualitative, uh, how are the medicines working? When should I maybe, maybe make an adjustment? Um, let alone the reminders it gives the patient. Um, they're moving beyond that. There are wearable devices, gate aids, laser props, maybe in the, the glasses, maybe even in the shoes that, that produce a laser for one to step over if there's gait or walking problem, freezing or stutter steps that develop. Um, in, not to sound like a broken record, but again, there's new AI-driven um, technology being integrated into the um, devices, some of these devices, for instance, some of the deep brain stimulation. Um, new imaging technology, merging the imaging with some of the deep brain stimulation to improve programming and speed and effectiveness of the deep brain stimulation. Worked very well recently, and it's neat stuff. And so this is some of the technology we're looking at.